Uh, I was interested in uh, Senator Lachlan, the first contribution about the causes of the attitudes that, ap that appeared in that. And uh, while I, uh, Father Vincent Toomey is not a, a writer that I would necessarily always agree with, and people will understand that. Uh, but he has a very interesting article in today's Irish Times, which is precisely about that, uh, about the, uh, the kind of Puritan attitude that arose in the Victorian era, uh, where to be respectable was all, and uh, that it was this kind of great uh, wish for respectability. And perhaps that does explain uh, a certain amount about the way they, the, how things happened the way they were. And unfortunately, it did seem to fit in with the kind of Jansenist attitude of the Catholic Church during that period. And to be fair, very much the same attitude in the Protestant churches because uh, I certainly, I mean, I can well remember uh, not just the Bethany home, but other homes, the, the birds' nests and so on in Dunleary, uh, the, where these homes existed, exactly the same attitude and possibly uh, Protestants had even more desire to be respectable because of the kind of minority position in the, in the population. They, they didn't want to be letting the side down, as it were. So that uh, certainly these things happened right across the board. I can't really give any very real explanation. Also, I think perhaps when we started off in, as a new country in the 1920s and the 1930s, there was this feeling that here we had a new Ireland, and to some extent, holy Catholic Irish speaking Ireland, uh, which was, you know, it had its, 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 uh, its sort of inspiration, and that this played into it as well. But uh, I, I'm anxious not to be too condemnatory of the parents in that situation, because, I mean, it was very difficult. And I mean, I can remember as a child uh, living, growing up in Belfast uh, when I was at primary school there, we had a series of different, uh, and this will remind you of the, the uh, anniversary of the, the D-Day that went on this year. We had a, ser a series of different soldiers that were uh, planted, as it were, in the community, put in people's houses. Uh, and. Uh, they were, we had, um, of course, British soldiers, we had white Americans, we had black Americans, we had Poles, we had Belgians, and a, a number of other ones. And with the inevitable result that there were quite a number of children who grew up, and many of those children were actually kept in the community, and I, I mean, I would know them to this day, but perhaps it was easier to keep them then when you had what was basically a working class community because that was what my father's parish was like. It was a working class Belfast community where there was less feeling of you have to be respectable all the time in the middle of a war where it was more important to survive the war as it were than it was to be terribly respectable and these children were taken in and brought up generally by the grandmothers I have to say uh, but I think, you know, if you look at different cultures, you may get different answers. And perhaps we shouldn't be too condemnatory. Uh, and in fact, I'd be all for, you know, looking for the beam in our own eyes rather than the speck in other people's.